you probably saw that Google is aggressively banning all Colab one by one. Our fallen Colab only lasted four days. They find some excuses. Google is really on the hunt to anyone. And everyone. They will find you. And ban you one by one. So I had to do something. And with the help of the amazing community on Discord, we made it. We moved all our knowledge and hard work to a new platform. It's called Amazon SageMaker Studio Lab. Not to be mistaken with AMZ SageMaker. As Colab, SageMaker is free and work on Jupyter Notebook, but the main benefit is they offer you 4H of GPU time and 15 gigabytes of permanent storage. After receiving a mail, you will probably be placed in a waiting list to be approved. It can take from one hour to 24H for some people. You don't need any referral code. Let's move to step two. Once approved, you will see two type of runtime. If it's the first time, I recommend you to launch a CPU runtime in order to set up all the files. Before launching Stable Diffusion, you will surely need a GPU runtime later. Step 2. Let's start with CPU runtime. You can find the notebook in the description or in our Discord. To upload the notebook, simply click on the arrow upload button. Firstly, if you already had launched a session before, or if you had errors, I strongly recommend you to start from scratch. If it's your first time session, you can already skip this part. You can launch the two first cells to check your storage. Your condo environment should be already high. If that's the case, just launch the cleaning remove cell. All the files should be removed, and your environment should be clean. And restart the Jupyter Lab with the button on top left corner. Once you restart, your condo folder should be at 1.1 GB. You can now launch the notebook. OK if this is your first time, just launch the first cell to install the Essentials package for Stable Diffusion. It will install the Python library, the embeddings, the extensions, and also the checkpoints. Now, you need to create a NGROK token. This will create a tunnel to access the WebUI, because SageMaker doesn't work with Gradio. Create an account on ngrok.com and then copy your authentication token here. Make sure to paste it. Exactly as shown on the screen, just right after the dash dash, ngrok. Now on to step 3, please don't run the cell yet. You need to switch to the GPU runtime. Don't worry if it shows an error. Keep spamming the button. Because it will depend on the hour and traffic ongoing. Congratulations! You have a GPU runtime, now simply launch the ngrock cell. It should take around 2 minutes, you should see a ngrock link. Don't worry if there's a warning page, just click on visit the site, and now you have the full webery. With the latest 1.6 version, this notebook runs with Epic Photogasm as a base. You can check my video on how to use it properly. Finally, before leaving the session, it is important to save all your outputs. Once you run the cells, you will see a zip file on the side. Just click on download. Sometimes don't forget to empty the output or model folder. Now don't forget to end the runtime. You will keep the remaining hour at your next session.